What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're going to install our expansion tank in your 2016 Plus Focus RS. For today's install, we're going to use our powder coated black tank, but this tank is also available in wrinkle red and wrinkle nitrous blue. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include a pair of channel locks and a pair of hose clamps or needle nose vice grips. Installation time is less than 30 minutes. Installation difficulty is a two out of five. Never work on a cooling system when it's hot. The coolant temperature in the radiator can be considerably higher than boiling and the system may be under pressure. Opening a cooling system that's hot or under pressure can result in serious injury. Always wait until the system has cooled completely before servicing it in any way. Lift up on the stock tank to separate it from the two mounts that secure it to the vehicle. You may need to wiggle it a bit to free it from the mounts. Separate the small coolant hose from the front of the tank by squeezing the two tabs on the fitting and pulling off the hose. Use a cut-up coolant bottle or small container to drain the coolant from the expansion tank. Remove the pressure cap from the tank to expedite the draining process. Some coolant will be pushed out of the small line you disconnected, so be prepared to capture any spills or use a hose clamp tool to pinch the hose off. Separate the clip on the large coolant hose from the AC line near the washer reservoir filler neck. Then lift the tank up over the valve cover to give yourself more room to work. At this point, you can drain the remaining coolant from the tank. Compress the clamp that secures the large coolant hose to the expansion tank and separate the hose from the tank. Then, tuck the line in front of the hood prop rod to prevent further coolant loss. Locate the rubber isolators included with your kit and install them over the mounting pegs on the vehicle. Note that these isolators are different sizes to match the two different size pegs. Remove the isolator from the bottom of the factory expansion tank and transfer it to the Mishimoto expansion tank. Connect the large coolant hose to the bottom of the Mishimoto expansion tank and secure it with the clamp. Lower the Mishimoto tank into place so that the mounting pegs engage the brackets on the tank. Press down firmly on the tank to make sure they're fully engaged. Connect the small coolant hose to the front of the Mishimoto tank and remove the hose pinch off pliers if you use them. Reconnect the clip that secures the large coolant hose to the AC line. Fill the expansion tank with coolant until it reaches the max line on the sight tube. The small amount of air that got into the cooling system during installation will purge itself as you drive, so coolant levels may change a bit. Be sure to check it again after putting in some miles. Install the factory pressure cap on the Mishimoto expansion tank. Now that you've got the tank installed and you're sure the coolant has been properly bled, go ahead and fire up that RS for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. 